For this example, we're going to design a header in a tall wall for lateral as well as gravity loads. We're also going to review the loading assistant, which is available for wall headers. So to begin, you use the button from the toolbar to add a header to your tall wall. Again, you want to have a separate level for each tall wall and you want to make sure that you set the wind loads as appropriate up at the job level and also the the level properties as well. If you're unfamiliar with that, go watch the wall stud uh, design module. So we have our wall header here. Uh, you can input your deflection criteria, so this is for your vertical deflection criteria for your header. The lateral deflection criteria again is set at the level properties. You go to your spans and supports information here, and this is the same as it was for other horizontal members. So it looks like we have a five foot two opening, and that's clear span. We're going to have one trimmer on each side. Uh, we're going to look at both a nailed and a angle connector here. So when we go to our loads tab, we're given one vertical load. Um, so this is going to be for our three foot of roof trim for our tall wall that we're looking at. So we can do uh, give it a three foot and there is a quick load button up at the top here occupancy type so we can change this to roof or snow but we're going to change our magnitude to 40 because that's what our plans call for is 40 PSF. You can add your roof slope here to do a slope adjustment for you and so our plans say it's a 6 and 12 roof slope and then you can again say 3 foot for our trib width. Okay so that's ca accounting for our vertical gravity loads. You can add a lateral load and this is again going to be calculated based off of our wall and job information that we've input already. So our tributary width is, now this is our lateral tributary width, so looking at our reference plans, it's going to be five and a half feet for our lateral load on this header, our lateral trib width. There is another button here. Um, well, you have the link reactions, which we've covered. Now that applies to your vertical loads. This works similar to our other horizontal members. There's also a loading assistant. We're going to do a separate example for that one. So let's go through. Um, the rest of this works just like any other horizontal member. You just choose your material, go through your solutions, and you should see if you put in a lateral load then it's going to give you all these additional bits of design information. To illustrate that loading assistant tool on your reference plans we're going to look at header HD3 that has a girder truss that's landing on it. So we're going to begin by adding another wall header for this example, we're not going to worry about any lateral loads. Spans and support information. Looks like our header is 11 foot 2. It's the length of our header. And this is where we're going to use the loading assistant to determine our vertical loads. So we have a step down hip. Here's our loads. We have our roof slopes, everything is 6 and 12. The setback on the girder truss is 6 feet according to our plans. And the end wall length is 30 foot. We're gonna, it looks like we're going to have a 1 foot 10 and a half overhang, so I'm just going to go with 2 foot for the overhang everywhere. Just hit the next button. And there's not much of a setback from the corner of the house back to the beginning of our header, um, maybe just three inches. So that's what I'm going to put right here. It might be even less than that. I'm going to hit finish. And all the loads have been applied to our header. So I'm going to delete this first load. So here we have automatically generated for us 
we have our uniform load from our common trusses, we have our point load from our girder truss, and we have the tapered load from the point from where that girder lands all the way to the end of our header. And we didn't have to do any math or any calculations. The loading assistant generated all of that information for us. So some pretty handy tools, bo both for headers that are supporting point loads from girder trusses from hip sets, also lateral design for headers within tall walls.